What's going on, YouTube? My Gotham, it's Batman once again. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been here talking. Um, I just want to uh, run this by. Um, we're moments away from getting the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot game. I just want to get my two cents about it. I'm not going to drag it or anything. I'm just... Um, how do I say this? I'm tired of the same fucking story. We know what happens, okay? Like... Basically, I do call this game the legacy of Goku, which I, I I admire. I admire all that stuff. But when does it come in the time where we move on from re talking about the same story? We know what happens. OK, where when you had Xenoverse, at least try to do like um, at least try to do. But they kept going back to the same story. Then you got fighters like. Depends if you play the game for story or not. They at least tried something. Now, to me, what they should have did, this would have been a perfect opportunity, but I'm going to get some flack when I say this. I know I'm going to get it. Whew. I'm going to put this out, though. The Dragon Ball GT movie, A Hero's Legacy. Now, a lot of people don't like that movie. Let me tell you something. I was one of those people. I didn't really like the movie because I was like, fucking Goku Jr. was a coward and blah, blah, blah. And I was all this stuff. But um, watching a certain YouTuber, he made me realize that the movie isn't bad as you think. OK, so let's go ahead and break this ice before I get into how um, this Dragon Ball Z game could have been something else. Um the difference between Goku when he was little versus Goku Jr. There's a different lifestyle that they live. Goku, when he was young, he stayed with Gohan in the mountains. So that's all he knew. Okay. Now the brave and courageous, it came with it because he had to have that living in the wilderness versus Goku Jr. Who just, he stays with Pan. He's around, he's just around people all the time. Goku wasn't around people, but Goku Jr. He goes to school and all this shit. So, his cowardice, yes, I understand that. But the way how the, when the movie progresses and goes on, it shows you Goku Jr.'s so-called cowardice going away because he keeps thinking about Goku, like the one that everyone above. Like Goku's always brave. Goku does this. I want to try to follow the same footsteps, you know. Um and if you go back and rewatch that movie with a whole different mindset, because every time we think about Dragon Ball Z, we always think about Goku and Vegeta. I I I, I totally get that. I get that. But I think for, for this game, what they should have did was maybe they should have did a continuation of that. I told people in GT, the last episode of GT should have been the first episode of GT because I'm tired of Goku and Vegeta. We known them for years. Like we get it. We know. Um, if the game was about like Goku Jr. and you know, they just make up. This they fucking Kira Toriyama. He got more than one job. Y'all play Dragon Quest. You know what I'm talking about. This man, he can create like Xenoverse. You can create your own Dragon Ball Z characters. Look at all the designs. You telling me they couldn't come up with villains or anything for this game? I will. I mean, I like to see it. I. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Saw something on my windshield, but um, like this. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot game, it really doesn't excite me. Like, because, I, okay, you made it to like an RPG thing, but I play Legacy of Goku. Why y'all just didn't call it Legacy of Goku? I don't know why you called it Kakarot, but anyway, that's, okay, anyway, that's not just me. Um, yeah, and another thing that grinds my gears about, okay, I can at least say this about it. This new Dragon Ball Z game, what really grinds my gears to the fullest. If you know me when I talk about Dragon, everybody knows that I love the tails. The tails give them double strength. Why the fuck take that away from them? So when Goku goes fishing in the game, he puts his tail on. He puts his tail on only when he fishes. He just... Flop it off whenever he wants to. Anyway, I just, I don't know. This goddamn car. 
Anyway, but I just wanted to get my little two cents in. Um, um, share this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be doing more videos. I got the Uncharted trilogy, and I've been trying to do videos, but the game is so fun. Like I just get caught wrapped in playing. But soon as um, I'm playing the second one, not because I beat the first one. And I'm most likely going to do a video on the second one. Um, but as soon as I beat all three of them, I'm going to give you my real review of Uncharted. How I really feel about the games. I, I keep hearing left and right stuff, but, you know, that's me. Well, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. And just remember, Gotham, you just been Batmaned. Thanks for watching.